fishing tips with Rex Hunt for Big Four Holiday Parks. Come and see Australia by Big Four Holiday Parks. I want to take you out, 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 out on a holiday. G'day, Rex Hunt here. We are blessed here in this country that we've got sensational beaches. A beach is a magnificent place to learn about fishing. And every beach tells a story. The waves, the beach formations like gutters and wave breaks. Beaches hold a myriad of life. That is the point that I'm trying to make. Many people think that you have to have a long rod, like a telegraph pole in some cases, and chuck it as far as you can to the horizon. This is a myth. Sometimes a simple spinning outfit with small baits and hooks can do the job nicely. More than likely, the action is in close. Sometimes right at your feet. Tides play a huge part in surf fishing. A beach at low tide can look like a piscatorial desert. As the tide floods, the water comes alive. Small bait fish start to move. Shellfish and crustaceans start to get active. And of course, so do the fish. Species like salmon, tailor, dart, flathead, snapper, mulloway, brim whiting, and many more, including small and not so small sharks, come into the area for a feed. Give surf fishing a go. And remember that your tide guide is the Bible of surf fishing all over the land.